Hey y'all, it's me Andrea with Sucks For You in Houston, Texas and I'm out back, have my shades on because it's super bright out right now. I'm just praying for a cloud. And um, I want to show you guys how to make these nesting pots, a little project where you stack these pots up and uh, fill them up with succulents and it's really cute. Um, what you'll need is pots of various sizes that will fit inside of each other. And um, I've already got this one filled with dirt. And then you'll want some top dressing and some plants and some little tweezers to help get everything in place because it starts to get, you know, you start to get pretty small when you're trying to fill a little pot that's as big as a thimble. And uh, no, this one does not have drainage holes. And the only reason I say that's okay is because it's so tiny. Look how tiny that is. But it is unglazed terracotta, so we're sticking to that rule. Um, so we're gonna, let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys first how to uh, fit everything together and then we'll start adding some plants. All right, let's start stacking these up. So I've got the bottom pot uh, full to, you know, about um, an inch below the top. And I'm going to take the next size and just kind of screw it down in there and level it out. And you'll notice that I like, I have it offset to the side, which I like the look of that. You can do it right in the middle too. But I just think it gives you more space for bigger plants. Um, and then we're going to add some dirt to that. Next pot. Just like that. Should be about right. That looks good. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some to the next pot. Okay, and then we'll go back and add some dirt. This it's gonna start help uh, helping to secure that pot down inside of it. next level. I think I got these, the two smallest pots were from Michael's um, craft store. And they're cheap. Well, when I saw them I was like, oh, those are so cute. And um, I do have, I have drilled holes, drainage holes in these before, but um, again, I don't think it's necessary because it's so super tiny. And... So we know how much dirt we're going to need. I'm going to take off a couple of these while we're filling them up with plants so I don't knock them over because they're kind of clumsy. Yeah, that looks cool. It's a little bit uneven, but yeah, I think that's pretty neat. So that's what we're working with. Looks good, looks good. Before we start planting, I'm just going to come back in with some of this Jiffy seedling mix and it's just a you know dry organic soil and it's just gonna help me be able to plant down in here a little bit more easily because it's a, underneath of course is a very rocky uh, fast draining mix I think it'll help give it a more finished look too when we come back in and do the uh, top dressing okay all right, we've got some plants that I want to start with and I'm, I'm going to leave quite a bit of negative space. So, um, you know, I don't want to pack everybody in here too tight. But I'm going to start with this cool little holarchia. And tuck them down in. I've got some other little tools over here that might come in handy for the smaller plants when the time comes. Um, Oh, this little jade right here. I was thinking it would look cool right there behind him. Let's scoot him up a little bit more. Use my tweezers to make a little bit of space. Dig a little tiny hole. So we need more than that for these roots. There we go.
straighten that guy back up. The cool thing about this project is you can do it on any scale. Uh, you can do this with larger pots. You can use, you know, three pots, four pots. But I decided we would make it go all the way up to five. I could take this and put it down in an even bigger one if I wanted to. Um, okay. Yes, I like that. So far, so good. Is he okay? And who's next? I have this little Sansevieria cylindrica for some extra height. Just gonna play around and see where I might want it. All the way up here. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know yet. Let's see. Let's try it right here for now. Just pop it down in the dirt. You be good and you stay there. Yeah, I think that's cool. Um, who else? Oh, this is neat. This is a the Colancho copper spoons a uh, leaf propagation and its leaves are really chunky um hmm. how about right here yes i like it okay uh, who else do I have? I have some of the watch train, <laughs> watch chain crassula. Um, I think. Actually, I think it'll look cool over here. Lots of company, bro. There we go. And I put this in my last stacking pot, so the watch chain and. It did, it did really well. It lasted a, a while in there. And, um, you know, for some reason, the only way I can get this stuff to do well for me is just to forget I even have it. Leave it alone. Forget about it. And I have some growing in an aloe pot on the side of my house. And it's doing great. Does not need me one bit. Maybe the set of various starbursts. Put him up here by the copper spoons. There we go. Mm. Liking it, liking it so far. Okay. Oh my land, that was a big pecan. Ugh. Grab some of these raindrops, string of raindrops for some spiller. So let's try and work that in somewhere. I feel like there's another pecan incoming really soon. Maybe I should scoot a little protection from an umbrella overhead. How about there? That's cute. And now, this cool little set of area. How about you go over here? And this tiny little Gasteria offset. I'm not sure of the variety, but Super cute. I think I'm gonna put it right here by the whole earth, yeah. Sorry, guy. Tiny golden sedum, sedum adolfi. 
I'm going to put them by the San Severia for company. Oh. This is a little yucca seedling. Isn't it cute? It's really stiff and tall. And um, let's try it out. I'm just going to put that in here for some height as well. little Calancho Marini Ariana. Put that in here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put a bunch of little littles right there. This little, I think it's a blue elf. Tuck that down in there. He doesn't like it there. He's gonna get moved. There's a squirrel directly overhead. Luckily, I have an umbrella over me, but he's dropping pecans and it's freaking me out. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a Plectranthus tomatosa. It smells really good and it's fuzzy. Little Apuncha, I think we'll put him over here too. And I think that's it for the bottom row. Maybe one more little thing, we'll see. It's a little jade leaf propagation. Crassiola Oavaca. Let's put him over here. Oops, stand up. And maybe some of this, this is a, a Portilacaria Afra, the uh, low formed, and it, so it kind of like hangs, it feels limp, but um, unlike the other type, which, you know, it's like a small tree, this one likes to hang down. Just go over here for now. And then I have a, a tiny little leaf propagation from a Graptopetalum paraguayans. We can put that up here. Oh, I do have this cool little trade scantia dude. Where should we put him? How about up here? All right. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of dirt in here. And anything we try and keep in a plant in a pot this size is going to um, definitely not grow as big as we may want it to. So it'll be a tiny plant and a temporary situation. The last little cherry on top. I'm going to put a Calancho, um, Lady Varens. A little bit of dirt in there. Thought it would be easier if this was moist dirt. Stay in place. And in there. A little bit more. Look at that. That's cute. And then I have these little thimble cactus. They're so tiny. Tuck those down in there. Pop, pop, pop. And then we start going in. Little tiny bits of top dressing. To kind of help make it all stay in place. taking pumice, tucking it down in there, 
Are the guys trying to jump out? That's who they... Alright, and tuck it in on top. Okay. And then let's go back in with our top dressing. And I like to just start by filling in the negative space and then you can just push it around where you want it to distribute it. I don't know about this little guy, he's getting lost in there. There we go. All the way around. And then we can go back in afterwards with, um, you know, tweezers and do more precise placement. Right now I'm just trying to get them most of it filled. Hi, push that over there. Okay, you guys. the top. Okay, now I do need to start using the tweezers to put these last little pieces in. Don't you jump out. Everything's behaving pretty well. Push that back. There we go. Yeah. And if you wanted, you could take some cool little rocks. I might do that, a little crystal. Add some blank to it or a little figurine. I changed my mind about the top little pot. I'm gonna find something else to put in it. I think maybe this tiny little set of various starbursts and then I have a um, not much, but, you know, have a, some string of hearts. I'll, I'll give you guys a close-up of this. Let me get it in there. Yeah, that's cute. Okay. Tuck her in. We're done. So I'll let this settle in for a day or so, and then I'll come back and I'll water it and uh, make any adjustments I think I might need and maybe put a little bit more pumice up here, cover up that dirt. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I really like it. And it was fun to make. You know, this can, these can stay in here for quite a while. But remember, plants can conform to their pot size. So if you want them to grow bigger, you're gonna need to relocate it to a bigger pot eventually. I put some little rocks down in there. Just, you know, they're fun. I like rocks. that's it thanks for watching guys and uh, again you can do this on any level any number of pots that you want and well I don't know about any number <laughs> we've got this is this is a five stack we'll probably go up to six or even seven but I don't know if we're gonna find a pot much smaller than this little guy Remember, read the video description and I'll you know, list the uh, supplies and places where you can get them and all that fun stuff. And check out the succulent manual. This project is in there too. Along with a bunch of other fun stuff.